So the question is, have you ever lost your job, lost all of your savings, but then successfully got everything back? Uh, yes, I have done this, I've gone through this. So my experience about, oh, six years ago, <clears throat> I was working as a senior manager in a retail company, uh, managing about 100 retail reps. And this is in Canada. And uh, what it happened was the owners of the company decided that they wanted to retire, which is great. You know, congratulations to them. Uh, and in doing so, we're looking to sell their business to uh, an American company. So when the American company came in, um, I got the sense that the experience wasn't going to be the same. It wasn't going to be the same organization I had grown with for years and years and uh, made the tough decision to, to leave the company and pursue other avenues. Um, at that point, the unfortunate thing that happened to me was um, I decided to go to a, into a completely different uh, field into mortgages um, that I wasn't used to in sales, um, and, but I was going to give it a shot and give my all. I've historically been quite good at sales and people have been very happy to have me as um, their rep uh, customer wise so I thought that um, it would be a great opportunity for me to step back from leading teams of, of large amounts of people and just do individual sales to try and help people. So maybe 30 days into that role uh, the person that hired me that was my manager ended up taking another uh, role within the company and um, the person that took the place of that manager at least from my perspective seemed to have it out for me so um, you know it's it's nice that I can look back and kind of laugh on the whole situation now but it went really bad really fast and to the point where I could tell very quickly that um, this new manager wanted nothing to do with me working on her team um, which was very unfortunate because I took a huge risk to leave a six-figure job um, to go into another organization that I wasn't fully comfortable with. So um, what ended up happening was that manager chose to let me go just because I didn't work well with her. And all of a sudden I was left with no backup savings and no job. And there was really no, what surprised me most was there was no attempt from um, that organization or the manager to um, try and work with me and show me the things that they wanted done differently. I was essentially cast aside as a, someone who, you know, wasn't going to be successful in sales with their organization. So um, fast forward to today, I uh, started my own company back in the telecommunications field that I'm used to and comfortable with and I absolutely crush it in sales. Um, so the le lesson I've garnered from this is at the end of the day, as long as you're able to keep a roof over your head and um, you can feed your family and survive, um, it doesn't take very long to get back on your feet and get back to the position that you were once in. I'm actually in a much better position now and I'm very, very thankful and grateful for what I have because if these things hadn't have happened, if I would have stayed with the um, original company or if I would have just found a way to push through and, and work with the mortgage company, I know that I'd be really, really unhappy today and I won't, wouldn't have met some of the fantastic people that I've met um, recently and my life wouldn't be heading in the direction that I wanted it to be heading in so um, I guess the moral of the story is we got to make sure that you continue to press on and, and keep positive and be confident that you're great at something and do what you're passionate about because success is in the eye of the beholder um, just because someone else looks at you and decides that you're not good for them or their company doesn't mean that you're not good for someone else. And sometimes when 
people are let go from a company like I was in that moment you don't feel good at all and you think it's the worst thing in the world that could happen to you um, but upon reflection in reality most of the time it can be the best thing for you so um, to anyone out there that's had this happen to them recently especially this time of year um, try and pull things together and reach out for help with people that can support you because in the end of this six months from now you'll have a completely different set of problems and hopefully you'll be in a much better situation so good luck